Six months ago, I would have said that I wouldn't have touched Infinite Warfare with a 10-foot pole, and now, well, shit. Ideally, I would like to knock this out in three minutes or less so I can use the three minutes or less uh, title in the video, which is exactly what I want to do. So let's get right into what I like about it, what I dislike about it uh, in three minutes or less. So let's start off by saying that the beta to me was absolutely, absolutely, absolutely atrocious. I hated it. I couldn't stand it, but I stood strong. I stood strong and kept my pre-order out there for... Modern Warfare Remastered. I, I was absolutely in love with the idea of bringing out uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, and I, I loved it. Uh, when, we, when I first got the game, when it launched, I played Modern Warfare for probably 10 hours, damn near straight. Uh, it was only after that that I got kind of bored. Uh, I didn't have anybody to play with, so I hopped on over to the Infinite Warfare multiplayer to see what the hype was about, because Reddit was going crazy with all these posts that were like, you know, I thought I was going to hate the game, but dot, 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 and they go and link to a YouTube video, which is a really shitty thing to do. It's called a shit post. When people do that, they're just trying to get exposure, which is probably what I'm going to do with this uh, video here. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, so I, I decided to give it a go. I decided to give it a shot, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised uh, at what I found. Got into a game, and after experiencing the beta and... You know, everything seemed very atrocious, and the lag compensation was terrible. Still is terrible, by the way. We'll get into that in, in a second here. But uh, I found that I hopped into a game of Dom, sitting on a point, capping a point. See a guy, aim up with my red dot right on his body, pull the trigger, three bullets. Hit detection was spot on. Spot on, beautiful. Spot on, gorgeous. It was amazing. Love it. Killed him in three bullets. Time to kill is damn near perfect in this game. All these people are bitching. Time to kill. Oh, it's way too fast. It's way too fast. You need to tone it down. No, 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 no. Call of Duty has never been about a slow time to kill ever. I'm not trying to shoot somebody with eight bullets, something that would kill a human in potentially one shot. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, have to shoot seven, eight, nine bullets into somebody to kill them, only to have them potentially turn around and somehow one shot me in the face so that time to kill and hit detection were actually a pleasant surprise in this game i'm actually really enjoying it uh graphically it looked like i got an upgrade on the xbox one i play on the xbox one the only downfall of the xbox one that i don't like one of the one of the negatives is the frame rate issue it seems to be a lot of frame rate lag going on on the xbox one right now not sure what it is on the other consoles but on the xbox one it is not very Good. Another thing that was very poorly done was the lag compensation. Now, lag compensation occurs in every multiplayer game, so we can't really fault them for that. But we can fault them for the amount that it does. There's a lot in the, a lot of times in this game where you will have a shoot first, die first situation happen, and it's just really annoying. And if they could tone that down, I feel like this would be an amazing game. Uh, so far, to this point in time, there is no way to purchase COD points, only crypto keys to open your supply drops, which is stellar. Unfortunately, this is going on probably a little longer than three minutes, and I know three minutes or less, right? But, uh, you know, I, I really I really want to get this out there that I was one of those people that absolutely hated Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 to me was atrocious. It was terrible. It was bad. By the way, my first impressions, three minutes or less, are over, so if you are uninterested in what else I have to say, you can skip off the video because I'm not going to speak super fast anymore. Um... But I absolutely hated Black Ops 3. It was terrible to me. Uh, uh, Call of Duty has never been about that life. Call of Duty ain't never been about no wall running and double jumping. And all of a sudden, it was all about that life. And it made no sense to me. And uh, I feel like this game does it better than Black Ops because I hated it. Similar movement system, but I feel like it's slower. It's slower movement system, but similar. When you double jump, it's incredibly difficult to aim, way more so than Black Ops 3 is, so it kind of hinders people's ability to aim and shoot while in the air, uh, making, a, making people less likely to be boost jumping all over the place like we saw in Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, which is one of the downfalls. Uh, like I said in the beginning, time to kill is damn near perfect. I'm absolutely in love with the time to kill in this game. Um, and the hit detection is great, but lag compensation. I'm going to be coming out with another video here sometime this week probably on how to combat that uh, because there are a couple things that you can do, but it's just so prominent in this game, and that is something that they absolutely need to fix, but I doubt it will either because, A, they don't know how to do it, or, B, well, you know, they've been promising us dedicated servers on consoles for the last three years, and we have yet to, uh, to see any proof of that ever happening ever. So I doubt that's going to happen. 
That would be one way to fix it, though. I think that would be a solid way to fix it, and they should absolutely do it. If they could get the lag compensation under control, this is an immediate buy for me. Absolutely. I would recommend it 100%, along with Modern Warfare Remaster, which is also a stellar game. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. It takes me back. Nostalgia factor and everything. And sure, there's a honeymoon phase for Infinite Warfare, but you go back to my go back on my channel and you look at the videos I was creating five, six months ago, talking some mad shit about Infinite Warfare. I was expecting to never, ever play this game. And the only reason I picked it up was for Modern Warfare Remastered. And what happened? I was pleasantly surprised. And I am finding myself playing more Infinite Warfare than Modern Warfare Remastered. I love them both. But I was pleasantly surprised, and I absolutely recommend if you are a COD player to try it. Give it a go. Rent it if you have to. You know, if you got a friend that has it, borrow it before you buy it. But, I mean, I don't know. I was happy with it. I was surprised. And it's just an all-around great game, man. Uh, Inf Infinity Ward's always been great at COD. You know, people hate ghosts, and I never understand why. I was absolutely a huge fan of Ghosts. Uh, it was just a great game to me, and I know a lot of people hate it, and I catch a lot of flack for that, and that's, you know, whatever. But in Infinity Ward has always been great at making Call of Duty. Treyarch, not so much. Sledgehammer came in with <laughs> Modern Warfare 3. Eh, not so much. It's not so much good, you know. But, uh... Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. I was... I was... I wanted... Here's the thing, too, right? Like, I wanted to hate this game. I wanted to hate it so bad, and I tried to hate it so bad, but I can't stop playing it. I, I absolutely can't stop it. I haven't played campaign yet. I haven't played zombies. I've never been about the zombies life. Uh, I haven't played campaign. I've never really been about the campaign life either, but uh, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to give it a go, uh, give it a go because this game... It, it's it surprised me, man. It was a shocker, and I know it's good. I know it's gonna shock other people out there too, and I know it already has. So definitely, 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 my word on it is, I take back every negative I said about it. Well, not every negative, because the lag compensation still is shit. But the videos that I made in the past, take it back. I take it back because this game is great. That's all I had to say. I know the whole thing wasn't three minutes or less, but my first impressions of it, three minutes or less. Whatever, you get it. You get it. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. More videos to come. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one.